Oftentimes when I speak about a glorious future for Israel and for the Jewish people, some people misunderstand that and think that you can have that future without the king. You can't. Yeshua is the key to everything. Fewer and fewer born-again Christians believe that there is a link between the salvation of Israel and the second coming of Jesus because they believe there's nothing unique about the Jewish people. I want people to love intelligently, and my hope is that believers will balance their theology with hearts of compassion and a desire for social justice, but that they will not throw out the theological baby with the compassionate bathwater. And so my goal is to help people understand God's continuing faithfulness to his covenants and promises with the Jewish people and then to also encourage a love for Jewish people, Palestinians, Muslims, Hindus, the entire world. Last time I checked, for God so loved the world. Romans 1.16 is written in the present tense. Therefore, the gospel is the power of God for salvation. It is for everyone, for everyone who believes, and it is for the Jew first and also to the Greek. So we have to deal with this. What in the world is Paul talking about? In Matthew 6.33, he uses that, uh, Jesus uses the Greek word proton, which can either mean first in sequence or it could be first in priority, and I accept it as first in priority. The argument is this, if Jewish people are successfully evangelized, then Jesus the Messiah will return. Let me put it another way. When the Jewish people turn to Jesus, then Jesus returns to his people and the rest of us. Jewish people were actually chosen to be God's instruments of blessing to the world. The problem is, is Jewish people need to experience that blessing before they can do the blessing. And that's part of Paul's argument in Romans 11. In other words, if you think the failure of the Jewish people in rejecting Yeshua brought great blessings to the Gentiles, wait till you see what happens when the Jewish people turn to Yeshua. Peter and Paul and all of the apostles and all of these early evangelists had no concept that they were going to wait for a couple thousand years for the second coming. Every one of them thought that Yeshua was returning in their generation. And they preached with that type of urgency. Repent. When? Next week. Next year. Wait for the revival. One day in the future. Repent now. May our prayer always be that of Paul. Brethren, my heart's desire and my prayer to God for them, for the Jewish people, is for their salvation.